Now to our other top story, President Biden in Pittsburgh meeting with steel workers and promising to make sure that U.S. steel stays American owned. Today, the president announced a series of actions that he says will ensure that. Erica Stanish spent the afternoon with the president as part of the national press pool and was there when he made the announcement. The president met with union members today and assured them that U.S. Steel would remain American owned. And that's exactly what they wanted to hear. Mayor Ed Ganey greeting the president as Air Force One lands in Pittsburgh and a crowd of steel workers awaited his arrival at U.S. Steel headquarters. <laughs> president Biden made history last year when he walked the picket line with striking auto workers, yeah. ensuring that they got a fair contract. And now he's standing in solidarity with us as we fight to keep U.S. Steel from selling out our livelihoods and our communities. President Biden promising union workers that American steel business will remain in the U.S. U.S. Steel has been an iconic American company for more than a century, and it should remain a totally American company. Yeah! American owned, American operated. Biden said his administration is taking a series of actions, including plans to triple the tariff rate on Chinese steel and aluminum, and directing his team to work with Mexico to prevent China's evasion of tariffs on steel that's imported from Mexico to the U.S. This comes in light of a proposed sale of U.S. steel to Nippon, a Japanese steel corporation. U.S. Steel shareholders just voted Friday to approve the deal. I think they're going to be upset, but you know what? This is an indication for far too long uh, we put shareholder interest over stakeholders. And for the first time in a long time, we have a president that's gone to bat for the workers and the communities that support these mills. And it's long overdue. The deal still needs approval by the Justice Department and the Committee of Foreign Investment before moving forward. We are a union town and never forget it. I'm proud to be the most pro-union president in American history. Yeah. Biden also touted investments in clean American steel, saying over a billion dollars will go towards steel projects to help support communities in Pennsylvania, Ohio, the Midwest, and South. Reporting from the U.S. Steel headquarters, Erica Stanish, KDKA-TV News.